Hey guys, it's Brian Storm. In this video, I'm going to be displaying all the advanced stats of all the rookies in the game that you can get by owning a special edition of NHL 18. Each rookie will be on the screen for three seconds, and then either the base card or the draft champions card, if they have one, will be on the screen for another two seconds so that you can compare the two if you want. In the description of the video, I'm going to be timestamping all of the rookies. So if you're trying to get to a specific rookie, you can just click on that or just go to that time in the video. Toward the end of the video, I'm going to be ranking the rookies based on a number of superlatives. Like in this case, McKinnon, his rookie card has a base card. He also has his draft champions card. So in that case, you may not want to choose McKinnon as your rookie if you feel like you'll go after his draft champions card instead. Similar idea with the base cards. Some of these guys have much stronger base cards. So if your favorite rookie's base card is stronger than his rookie card, you may just want to get his strongest card being the base card instead. I also want to point out that Dreisaitl is Edmonton's hut rookie card and not McDavid because McDavid comes as a bonus. Also to Foley. Yikes. You want to have a slug on the ice? Choose him. In my opinion, though, a lot of these rookies are very similarly rated. So in the end, you can just go with your favorite player. But there are some things that kind of make him stand out a little bit, which is what we're about to go over. The way that you choose who your rookie is, is when in the menus, when they ask you what your favorite team is, that's the team that you have to choose your rookie's favorite team. After this, I'm going to be doing something similar with the Hut Heroes, showing you guys the advanced stats of those cards. You'll see how many collectibles and cards it takes to make up that Hut Hero. And I'll be ranking those Hut Heroes similarly like I did in this video. So it'll be kind of like a review before I even touch any of the cards. It'll be a preview. And then we'll see what actually happens when I do touch those heroes and how they compare to my initial thoughts. Let me know in the comments below who you're going to end up choosing as a Hut Rookie. And also let me know what you want to see in that Hut Hero video. Now Horvat's an interesting one because as a rookie, he has the highest faceoff rating out of all the rookies. His other stats aren't too great, but 80 for faceoffs is pretty high early on in the year. Calvin Picard makes an appearance for Vegas's Hut Rookie. And in my opinion, I would avoid him. Even though he has three synergies, you can get three synergies from a bronze goalie as well. So now we're going to have McDavid compared to his base card compared to his draft champions card. And then I figured I'd throw in the other two draft champions cards that don't have hut rookie cards just because I didn't know where else to put them. And I feel like you guys would appreciate seeing them anyway. All right, so now we're going to start with the ranking with top five skaters. These are the rookies with the best acceleration, agility, and speed. They are Larkin, Pasternak, McKinnon, Hosang, and Fabry. Their stats are close enough, so there's no reason to say they're number one, two, three, four, or five. After that, we have the top five synergizers. I don't know, what, what word did you want me to use there? These are the five rookies with the best synergies based on the synergy rankings that I did earlier. So as you can probably tell, Rock is Skate, Silky Smooth, and Thread the Needle are pretty good. And so here we have Larkin, McKinnon, Hosang, Lane, and Matthews. After them are the top five shooters. Here we have Lane, Kucherov, Forsberg, and Gensel. They were ranked by their wrist shot accuracy, wrist shot power, slap shot accuracy, and slap shot power. And there are a lot of rookies kind of tied for fifth who all had like the same numbers. And they were Hoffman, Matthews, Hosang, McKinnon, and Dreisaitl. After this, we go to the top five face-offers. Face-offers. If you're looking for a head start on the dot, these may be the rookies for you. You have Horvat, Domi, Zaka, Kuznetsov, and Fabry again. And these numbers are pretty good. There aren't that many base cards with over 80 in the faceoff stat. And I don't know if you noticed, but the defenders aren't getting much love. All those guys that were in those superlatives are forwards. So I figured I mentioned the only four defensemen that you can choose from from the rookies. And here's what makes them stand out. Provorov's got good synergies. Wierenski is a big dude and's got good defensive awareness. Klingberg plays for Dallas. There wasn't anything special about him. He seemed to be like a really balanced out card. Everything was about normal or average, whatever. And Dumba has 90 slap shot power. Finally, here are your top five rookie goalies in the game. 
Yeah, it's only Picard. He's he's the only rookie goalie you can choose from. He could be useful if you want a starting goalie with three synergies and then have your backup goalie be another three synergies, but eh, I don't know. He may not play as well as you want him to. In the end, it's up to you guys to choose who you want as your rookie in Hockey Ultimate Team. If I were to make a suggestion, I would say choose a player that's on multiple lists in the ones that I just mentioned. Then you'll know you'll have one of the best rookies in the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.